deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on me. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike.
God, he must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cards? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? And this thing in the house, is it alive? I see. And is this threat human or is there some other fear that you would like to talk to me about? Unseen human threat inside of a house. That's a unique perspective. Oh dear, well, 
We will have to explore your fears further in our next session. I'm, I'm afraid our time is up for now.